Hi, I'm Dr. Clem Darling, and this is the Society for Vascular Surgery Briefing on Surgical Bypass for Critical Limb Ischemia, CLI. Critical limb ischemia is a process by which the blood vessels in the abdomen or lower extremity become blocked or narrowed due to atherosclerosis or hardening of the arteries. Sometimes this is so severe in patients that pain in their foot awakens them from sleep and requires them to dangle their legs or use other maneuvers that stimulate blood flow. More advanced disease can cause the development of ulcers that won't heal or at worst gangrene. In this latter situation, the limb is so starved for blood flow that no amount of antibiotics or wound care will save the foot. In over 60% of these cases, the patients will lose their limb unless blood flow is restored. Minimally invasive techniques such as balloon angioplasty and stenting may work in less severe cases. However, in order to achieve optimal limb salvage, one may have to perform a bypass in order to get the maximum amount of blood flow to the ischemic, nutrient-starved lower extremity. In order to perform this type of surgery, the patient has to first undergo a procedure that will visualize the areas of blockage like a road map, allowing the surgeon to be able to redirect the blood flow around the blockages and maximize flow to the affected extremity. The most common test used is contrast angiography, where a needle is inserted into the artery and dye is in injected to visualize not only the artery above the blockage, but more importantly, the open arteries below the blockage. Other tests that can be used are CTA, which stands for Computerized Tomography Angiography, or MRA, which stands for Magnetic Resonance Angiography. Once the areas of blockages have been delineated, it is important to identify what type of vein the patient has accessible to use for this bypass. Leg bypasses use vein as the primary conduit, which are more likely to remain open and provide the maximum amount of blood flow to the lower extremity than artificial tubes. A duplex ultrasound is usually employed to locate the vein and also evaluate its quality. The most common veins used are the greater saphenous veins of the lower extremity, which run up the inseam portion of the leg, or the lesser saphenous veins that run in a stocking seam position behind the leg from the ankle to the knee. Less often, one of the arm veins is utilized. These veins are then sewn to the artery above the blockage and the artery below the blockage. The resulting improvement to blood flow to the lower extremity allows for healing of these wounds or gangrenous extremities in a majority of cases. Limb salvage is about 90% as long as there has not been extensive tissue loss before the patient had a chance to have their blood flow improved. In patients with profound ischemia or tissue loss, open surgical reconstruction can provide excellent long-term limb salvage and wound healing. The best results are obtained when this procedure is performed by a board-certified vascular surgeon with experience in distal revascularization. This patient education video was made possible by a grant from Cook Medical. To learn more about your vascular health, visit vascularweb.org.